Yeah, I think this is called, I can't remember the name of this canyon. Panasca Canyon, Panasco. Nathan, say I, I'll put it below the video. But there's actually a name for this canyon. It's kind of cool. Huh. I don't. Oh yeah, you've been back this far. Yeah, we went a little further than this. Level. Yeah, that trail goes right up top the ridge there. Yeah. That we we found all the garbage on. Right. Sardina Peak is a landmark here. If you look to the south of Tucson, you'll see the highest point in the Tumacacri range, and that is Sardina Peak. It looks like a massive pyramid, and it's been on my want to do list for a very long time. However, there are no trails up it, and it is difficult to even access the base of the mountain. On this trip, Chip and I went to see if there's a way to access it. From another point. Uh, James and I had checked several other locations. One of them looks somewhat promising from Indian Tank, but here I think I found the winning ticket. I know, what up right there to the left. You think so? I don't know. I'm kind of hoping there's some place to be without grass, but yeah. maybe. Well, let's go a little farther over here. So we're off and they're training with F-16s above us, which actually kind of throws me for a loop because this military training area is only active on the weekdays from like, I can't remember, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. There's uh, two of them, they're heading to the north. Actually, they're turning west now. I don't know what they're doing over there. They're over there though, I think, right? Sounds like it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think it is quite a ways up. I don't know how many miles we'd be from that peak right now. One mile maybe, I'm not sure. But uh, that's the peak there, the road's pointing at. So that time we found all that garbage. We were up there, right? Yep, right up top of that uh, knoll there, or whatever you call it. Chip and I came out here quite a few months prior to this hike, and we did go up to that rocky knoll just in the former clip, and there was garbage everywhere. It was kind of amazing. It looked like somebody had just taken a wet wipe shower, put their clothes down, changed them, uh, brushed their teeth. There's underwear there, <laughs> there are camo clothes, a water bottle, and then they just got picked right up. So. Um, this stuff is all over the place out here. It's kind of interesting to come by it. Um, I'm not particularly a big fan of all the garbage just out in beautiful nature like this. So we try to pick it's it up nice when we outside. can. Yeah. I'm sweating a little bit though. Yeah, a little bit. It's good. It's humid. Good, good exercise. Yeah. As of late, it's become more and more common to find debris from people crossing the border. They ditch their gear, change their clothes, and blend in with the rest of the city folk, and they're on their way at that point. Almost looks like they use this as a tool. I wonder what they'd use that for. Well, if they were grinding up herbs and stuff and they had a, a hoot stone, they might be able to do that. And some sort of a mill. Mortar and pestle kind of thing. I don't know. Hmm, that's cool. Might be natural because there's a couple of other small indentations in it as well.
So I'm gonna give a little self-promotion uh, pitch here. I'm a real estate broker. I've been doing real estate for the last 12 years full-time. And my pitch is actually about this channel. So I really, really would love if you subscribe, if you haven't already, like, that's that thumb up, and share this with your friends. You have no idea how hard it is to create this stuff. It is literally, the videos you see on my channel now have been pretty much a full-time effort since February of 2022. It was around the time I decided I'd start uh, documenting some of my hikes and sharing them a little bit more. But just you subscribing, thumbing up, sharing this stuff with your friends, it makes a tremendous difference. I actually don't get anything for doing this, but if I hit a certain threshold, then uh, YouTube will share a little bit of the ad revenue with me and then I can get some gas money or something so I can I can sustain myself at least and keep doing this. I want to tell you most of all I really really appreciate you. Without you watching this I wouldn't have this channel at all. Uh, your comments and feedback really mean a lot to me. So enjoy the video. Uh, I'm gonna get back to hiking here. That's one of those huge ones. I, I've got clips of these before. I don't know what they're called. He won't, I don't think he'll, can you put your, your uh, stick there? See if he'll jump or anything? Yeah, there he went. They're gorgeous, beautiful wings. Yeah, red wings, will he jump again? Let's see if I... So we've reached the north face of Sardina Peak and it looks pretty tricky to go straight at that, but if we have enough time, we can go to this ridge on the northeast corner. I see where the road goes up and over there to that corner. Is that where you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. And you built a big house up here on the ridge. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? With this view? <laughs> oh, oh my God. It'd be unbelievable. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, everyone, I'm like, you see that big pyramid peak to the south? And well, that's Sardina. You can see it for a very long ways. Oh, it just yeah. towers above everything else. Oh yeah. Some of these vines are grabbing at my boots. <laughs> Trippers. Trying to trip me up. Wow. So over there, I don't know if you saw it, there's a almost like a thumb or a lobster claw sticking out from the rock off to the side. It's kind of cool looking. That would be awesome to go up there and check that out. Oh yeah, it'd be great. Looks like it's on top of a little cliff though. <laughs> yeah. Kick, kick it over. <laughs> I think, think we could go up around behind it and get up there. It looks like the, there's a run up to it from around the right. I think I'm sweating off some water weight. My pants are getting loose. <laughs> I go down a belt buckle size every yeah, time we go out. Me too. <laughs> Got a few deer tracks here. It's getting to be uh, deer season, so hopefully they, well, some of them might become somebody's dinner here pretty soon. Perhaps. It says the United States of America. That's an old Coors Light, Coors? 2000 Coors? 200 years of Oh, it's a bicentennial something. Something. It's a beer though. Oh, it's got a, it's an old, old style. Yeah. It's the, uh, I don't know what you call that. Uh, Chip's gonna have a rest here and I'm gonna scout the top here. It's not even that far, 200 feet, 300 feet. 
So football, not even a football field, I don't think. Yeah, probably not. I'm almost to the top, I can see it. But I gotta take a breather, Ooh, This is steep. My pack, I think, is 35 pounds or so. Um, but there's no excuses. I'm not in that good of shape right now. I'm just about to the top. Another 10, 15 feet of height to gain. But the road stops right here. You can see where the blades stop cutting. So right now I'm looking straight out, uh, nice and level. If I pitch the camera down, you can't even see the slope, but there's a tiny yellow dot. That's Chip waiting for me. I think I found an easy route to get up, uh, to get up the peak, Sardina Peak. Right behind me, this leads to a ridge system where the slope seems to be pretty manageable. This is one of the most spectacular views I've come across, period out here. And I'd imagine when we get to the, next time I come out, we get to the slope just below the peak. It'd be a spectacular view to the uh, Southwest. And there's another slope I flew the drone over farther to the um, East. absolutely love these uh, Danner boots I bought. My only trouble is I bought them with uh, wool socks on and then about a half size larger. And um, they're too big. Echo! So James and I, last year, we scouted another potential route up. This one's way better. I made sure to mark this spot. This is a fantastic spot. It's not too far from the uh, the uh, ridge system back here to get up Sardina, where you could park, you could turn around, you could camp. It's nice and flat. Coors Light. <laughs> no, not. I think that's those pesky deer. They're uh, drinking again. <laughs> what do you see there? Just a grasshopper. No, oh, I've seen him jump. Yeah. A big one. Big one jumped and landed, and then just kind of sat there and didn't. Yeah, there he is. I poked it with my stick and I think it's about done. So here's a little piece from uh, Mexico. Salditas, they're little uh, salted crackers. Um, it's in Spanish. This canyon back here, um, really, really awesome. We accessed it from Indian Tank last time, but with this road being better, it'd be a lot quicker and easier to access that hidden canyon uh, from here. James and I have, just below this little ridge here, 
we went back, there's a box canyon around here. And out this valley right here is what's called Indian Tank. You can drive the Indian Tank and park. Um, I also notice, I don't know if this will show up on camera, there's a ridge system. You can get up top there, not a ridge, a slope. It gets a little steep at the end, but I think I could handle that. And then that that whole uh, mesa there, it's a, it's a ridge. It's the shape of a horseshoe and comes around the Sardina Peak. So this spot in the trail is pretty interesting. We get down into the drainage and there's a lot of vines and uh, little trees and bushes down in here. Now, one thing that I have found very interesting on this hike is there's very little debris from border jumpers, people crossing our border. I don't know, that doesn't look like something from somebody crossing the border. It's like a patterned shirt. Maybe from that camo. Might have just blown off a ATV or something, huh? Oh yeah, good. Those deer prints are all over the road. They love this road. Just leading right up there. It helps that we just had some rain. They probably sink in a little bit, show up better. So we have some sign right here. I don't know if that you can see that on camera, but the uh, vegetation has been matted down. I imagine that's more so an animal than a person. This is a carpet booty. It's pretty ingenious. This is actually a pretty new one. It's not faded or anything. They tie these over their shoe so they don't leave footprints and the bottom has a uh, carpet on it. So this is interesting. We're finding all kinds of garbage. Just a little uh, blanket, huh? I think we're gonna pick this up because I believe that's uh, toilet paper. So years ago, we used to come out here and plink, uh, shoot little pop bottles and uh, paper targets and stuff. And and uh, it's been a long time since I've been in this spot. That tree right there, we used to hang a pop bottle from it, plastic pop bottle and shoot at it. Worked really good. Good old carpet booty here, get rid of that. My ideal, that's pretty fresh. And uh, this uh, plastic bottle with, is this from Mexico or is this from here? Some people are just, they just throw their stuff on the ground out here. I think that's from here, English riding, I believe. We just caught our first glimpse of the truck. We are uh, really close to it. Lots of butterflies. All kinds of them. We're back, we're back, we're back. <laughs> the place is all milky. <laughs>